hi everybody welcome back to my channel i do hope you guys are having a great day so far if you are new to my channel welcome and if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button and that notification bell go ahead and do so before we get started i wanted to give a quick shout out the first shout out would be for taylor budgets i just want to congratulate her again for the third time on her 6k subscribers and girl you're going to get that care credit card paid off pretty soon i remember when i had to pay care credit and it wasn't no fun but you're going to push through it the next shout out would be for oh my froze and i just want to thank you again for sending my sister her cash envelopes and i will just put some pictures of what was sent to her she greatly 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 appreciate them and thank you again so what i want to do is go over my budget by paycheck for the second part of june of course when you see this video i would have already gotten paid but that's okay it's okay it's okay so first starting out my income was actually one thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and 55 cents if you see anything dangling in the video it's most likely my hair so let me just pause the video while i put it up okay so i'm back i was able to put my hair back that way it don't get in my way so this time to make my budget make sense even though i did have an income of one thousand four hundred fifty one dollars and fifty five cents thank goodness for holiday pay holiday pay and bonuses so a hundred of that automatically went to alley for emergency savings and what i'm going to do is write this here but i'm not going to physically include it in the budget next i actually had one thousand three hundred fifty one dollars and fifty five cents deposited to my account that i do have for depositing checks only so after that i did take out tides and that was 150 dollars but since my mom life insurance is due and her life insurance i believe is 62 dollars so i would pay 20 she would pay 22 and my other sister she would pay 20 dollars but since they say stay three hours away what i ended up doing was sending my mom the difference of 42 dollars for tides and she just kept that money that she was supposed to send me and she's going to put it in church on sunday so the actual total for my tides was 150 dollars but since my mom and my sister will pay 42 dollars I did end up sending my sister $108 for tights and now with the budgeted income that amount is $1,243.55. Now we can get started with the bills. When it comes to rent, rent is already been paid but i haven't turned in my money order just yet because i do think it's just a little too early so we have 375 so 375 for rent when it comes to straight talk i did budget for 100 dollars, and i've already went to the store i've picked up the service card for two lines and that amount was $98 and some change. So I was right on with the $100. When it comes to State Farm, this is for car insurance, life insurance, my mom's life insurance. That amount was $207 for, why did I put Capital One? But whatever. Capital One is not due yet, but it will be due from the first paycheck of july so what i'm going to do is just put capital one subscriptions and i did send 30 dollars to my capital one checking account for the subscriptions for the month of july 
and it brings that total to $712. And I have, or had rather, $531.55 left. Now, when it comes to the cash envelopes, I did sort of change up a few things. When it comes to food, typically I would budget for $200, but this time I budgeted for $175 and I've already went to the grocery store and grocery shopped. I only have about $23 left when it comes to groceries. When it comes to gas, I am going to put in 25, but since my car is on half a tank, I still have that gas money and it's just sitting there waiting to be used. For laundry, I am going to set aside $10. When it comes to me, I did send myself $10 to my borrow card. When it comes to extra, I am going to set aside $25 and for out of town, I am going to set aside 70 bucks and that total amount is $315. When it comes to the sinking funds, I'm not going to include emergency savings since that was sent automatically. For vacation, I did budget for $18.55. When it comes to monthly challenge, I am doing the Summer Solstice Challenge by Chris Budgets. And I'm going to set aside 50 bucks. And I still haven't went to the ATM machine to get that $50 just yet. For car maintenance, well, this one isn't going to get anything for car maintenance. I am going to set aside $145 and that total amount is $1,000.